My name is David Thomas. I'm the uh, partner and executive chef of Ida B's Table. Ida B's Table is a modern soul food restaurant. We try to uh, tell history through food. You know, paying homage to my heritage. My grandmother was Blackfoot Indian, um, and that is what my passion is, among other things, in the industry. I just want to support local farmers, and without farms, there's no food. And I'm a firm believer in that. And um, and we don't understand the toil and the, the labor that goes into producing the food that we eat. And I think the farmers are more rock stars than these chefs should be. And I, I mean that sounds crazy as a chef, but I would not have anything to cook if it weren't for those guys getting up at 3 a.m. Just as a southern restaurant, you got to have catfish. The traditional catfish that grows or is in Maryland waters is either the white catfish or a channel catfish. And they're bottom feeders. You know, they're getting right on the bottom of the bay, they're right under the mud, and that gives them that very unique catfish flavor. Well, this blue catfish, which is not indigenous to Maryland, it comes out of Asian waters. First of all, it has no natural born predator. It eats everything that Marylanders love about Maryland seafood. Baby rockfish, clams, oysters. So I'm just trying to do my part to get it out. I've been serving blue catfish since 2011. Um, I started in a former restaurant that I opened in Annapolis called Metropolitan Kitchen and Lounge. And at that time, there was a big push to get these invasive species out of the Maryland waters. And I've been selling it ever since, exclusively blue catfish. I, I don't sell any other type of catfish here. Because they're so large, they don't feed on the bottom as much as the smaller catfish. It's not getting as much of that mud and that dirt in its system. It's eating cleaner items. It's not digging as much. So I believe that's why you have a much cleaner taste. Um, the larger catfish produce some beautiful fillets. They can stand up to any type of cooking technique. Pan searing, broiling, grilling. It holds up just like you know what a piece of tuna. Uh, I like golden tile, amberjack. These are all southern fishes out of southern waters. They are mild, but they have great flavor. They, you can use them in any application. And I find the same thing with this blue catfish. It's almost, they're virtually one and the same in terms of how flexible they are. Yeah, I, I do all kinds of stuff with catfish. Like instead of a crab cake, we've made, you know, um, catfish cakes, so to speak. So being a southern restaurant, you know, we're doing a fried catfish. So ours is encrusted in um, this organic heirloom polenta, coat it with that and deep fry it. But then also do another dish that's exclusive to us. It's a Thai curry catfish. So we create this glaze with Madras curry in it, some Thai chiles, simple syrup and garlic. We pan sear it, we top it with that, finish it in the oven, and we you know, serve it you know, with a couple different sides. So I prepare this Thai curry catfish and we have a rosé on our menu that pairs very well with it. I also have a Pinot Noir that a lot of people order with that catfish. You know, people think of catfish, oh, it's not something you could have a glass of wine with. This is the complete opposite. It's just like any other great fish out there. You know, I think we got to be responsible to the environment. And that's one of the reasons why I do sell this blue catfish is because, one, it is close by. Two, it's not indigenous to Maryland waters and we need to get it out of the waters. And that's why I sell that exclusively to do my little small part, you know, with it. Um, so that's the major difference between the traditional catfish that you find in Maryland waters and this blue catfish that's not indigenous to Maryland. I mean, cooking, you know, I just want to obviously, like any chef, you want to put out the best food possible. But it's also about telling and talking about the history of food and how the true cuisine of this country was created. That's what my mission is with the restaurant, so...